At the University of Notre Dame, I majored in science business. I am glad that I found something academically that I still enjoyed and allowed me to pursue my athletic career. Notre Dame was the first time I was around people that had so many of the same shared values that I had. I felt like I belonged. And if you feel like you belong, then you can do anything. The biggest accomplishment from my time athletically at Notre Dame would be winning the national championship my sophomore year. When the ball crossed the line in sudden death, in that moment, it went from complete focus to complete elation. I actually had had some performance struggles on the field, had tried to quit mid-season. My parents, my coach supported me just in the right way, and my love for the game grew to a level that had never been seen before. It was our first national championship, and I was voted a defensive MVP of the tournament. January of my senior year was my second tryout with the women's national team, getting to play with some of these idols that were on my walls and posters. It was one of those moments that I was like, I'm not ready to be done yet. In soccer, caps is the number of times you step on the field to represent your country. And winning my 200th cap, I believe I'm the 13th woman to have done it, but I think it's maybe the 25th in the world, men and women, to get to 200. And it takes consistent performance and adaptability, and it shows resilience and a little bit of luck to achieve that and just love for what you're doing. Currently, I am head of women's football for U.S. soccer, so I manage our women's national teams from under 15 on up. I never thought or dreamed I would be where I am now, but I also know that I had been supported and had this fearless ability and still do to try things and not care if I fail because I truly believe I will figure it out in the way that I'm supposed to figure it out. The State Department likes to put on these global diplomacy through sport initiatives where I've been to some interesting places and working with Sudan refugees in one of my events was just life-changing. They're using sport for connection and hopefully reducing any stereotype or blind spots we have about one another. And to be honest, I come back more changed than any change I did there. Soccer has shaped my life in a way that I never imagined. Wearing the crest for the national team, renting the jersey at Notre Dame for four years, it opened doors and was a passport to a completely different journey in life. I found my joy there.